Pants with Mary NYC, and I just want to take a moment to thank everybody that subscribed to the channel. In this month's segment, we're going to go over what to do when you have a long second toe, also known as a Morton's toe, or sometimes called the Greek foot. I happen to have this, so I'm going to give you some nice options on how to take care of it when you're dancing on the point. The ideal foot for point has a sturdy metatarsal and at least three or more toes the same length. For the Greek foot type or the Morton's toe, the second toe is longer, the short, uh, first toe is shorter, and the rest of the toes taper off after that, which really means that the metatarsals aren't aligned. See, on this model that I have the metatarsals are going straight across, Morton's toe, it doesn't work out for that person like that. These metatarsals are not in line, so it creates a little bit of a problem when they go on point. Usually, all the pressure will go to that long second toe. Ideally, if the point shoe is fitting correctly, the weight will go through the absolute center, just like it would go through, say, your center line, your shin bone, your knee bone, your hip bone, up through the alignment through your spine, right? So what happens to this foot type is very often the pressure will all go into that foot, or if there's space in between the first and second toe, they'll start to lean over, so you can see the, um, the alignment is gonna be really off for that. So I'm gonna give you a couple of nice options because once again, full disclosure, I have this foot tight, so I had to learn how to work with it. So I just want to give you a few tricks that I've learned along the way that may help you. As you can see when you look at my foot, I do have a long second toe. That's known as the Morton's toe or the Greek foot. And what's most important about that is to notice that this metatarsal is a little bit higher. This one is lower and then the rest of them tapers. So on point, I would be having a lot of pressure go through this joint. You can get all kinds of problems with that second toe. I'm gonna to show you what works for me. You can use whatever kind of toe, set, uh, toe cap that you like. The toe cap that I use is uncovered. I'm just gonna place that over the first toe. I find it's comfortable. It doesn't make my big toe fall asleep either. Right. Then the second thing I wanna show you is the toe separator. I just happen to like the foam toe separator. They're available just about anywhere, drug stores, online. I just happen to like the foam. I feel like it takes up the right amount of space. It also takes the shape of my foot. It doesn't make me sweat. And the other thing is uh, it doesn't make my toes go numb. As you can see right here, I've already built myself a three-toe platform. And we said that was the ideal foot for point, right? So I've given the second toe a little more help and also built up the big toe. Next, I'm gonna take tape, whatever kind of tape that you like, waterproof tape, paper tape, masking tape. I'm just gonna use sports tape because I like that. That works for me. And I'm going to tape that unit together. I don't know if you can see the three pieces together are now creating a three-toe platform so now the pressure will go through the center of the foot. alignment on point works for me. I hope that some of these tips help you. Don't forget to click if you like something and subscribe and keep these comments coming. Thanks, everybody.